Welcome to Hopkinton High School for some Hopkinton Hillers softball today. They welcome in the Medway Mustangs. The Hopkinton Hillers are 12 and one overall on this season. 11 and 0 in the TVL. Medway five and six overall. Five and six in the TVL. Bob Hamilton on camera. Tom Nappy on the call for this HCAM broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers softball. It is a beautiful, sunny, 67 degree day. It certainly feels a little bit warmer than 67 degrees, however. Juliet Hume is out there for her eighth start of the season. So far a tremendous year for the senior pitcher. She is seven and zero oh in seven appearances, a .34 ERA as she looks for her eighth win here today. So far this season, Juliet Hume has only given up two earned runs, which both came in a 3-2 victory against the Bellingham Blackhawks. Besides that, it has been shutout central for Juliet Hume, and she looks to do that once again today as the Hillers, the last time they played this Medway team, ended up with a Substantial victory, a 12 to nothing final. Medway, they're just getting off a 12 to two loss against Dennis Baker Sr. and the Bellingham Blackhawks. So they're looking for the upset here today. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Diamond as we are just about set for softball. Kerry Sendrick leading things off for Medway. For the Hillers defensively, it's Juliet Hume on the mound, Lizzie Kelly behind the plate, Jenna Bogan at first. Molly Bennett at second, Kate Wellzell at short, Nikki Como at third, from left to right, Kayla Sullivan, Hannah Ingstrom, and Renee Cooprider. For the Medway batting order, Kerry Sendrick leading things off, playing short, Kaylee Higgins, the pitcher, batting second, Casey Sheehan, the center fielder, batting third, Kylie Sheehan, the catcher, batting fourth, Julie Kasparian, the third baseman, batting fifth, Shannon McHugh, the first baseman, batting sixth, Laura Harkins, the second baseman, batting seventh. Megan Donahue, the designated player, batting eighth. First pitch is hit in foul territory, but playable, and it is caught by Lizzie Kelly for the first out. One pitch, one out. And rounding out the Medway order is Rachel Maughan, the right fielder, batting ninth. Odd man out is left fielder, Sidney Rice. For the Medway Mustangs, as the second batter now up to the plate, Kaylee Higgins, the pitcher, a freshman. Hume set the deal, and that is low. The Medway Mustangs are led by husband and wife coaches, Jeff Carney and Aaron Carney. There's a strike, one and one. So far this season, we have lucked out with weather. There is a slight breeze. There's strike two, couldn't check that swing fully. Higgins awaits the pitch. And we'll slice that one foul. Count remains one and two. At the plate, Higgins is at a 324 mark. As the righty awaits the pitch up high, gets by the reach of Lizzie Kelly. There's that wind gust we were talking about. Higgins has scored 10 runs, driven in six. Has two doubles and a triple. Hume deals. And this is slice foul territory, and Coop Ryder will not be able to get there. Count remains two and two. This Hillers softball team, a lot of talent throughout the field, certainly a lot of talent in the pitcher's circle. They have really developed defensively and they've become a very well-rounded team. There's strike three. Two up, two down, and that'll bring up Casey Sheehan, the center fielder. Sheehan is senior at a 486 on the season. Some good power at the plate as a home run. Has driven in 11. She'll take ball one. She's scored nine runs so far this season. 
multi-sport athlete. Hume delivers, strike one. One and one. Hume set to deal. And this is hit in the air towards center field. Ingstrom battling the sun makes the catch. And that will be it for the top of the first. Medway goes down one, two, three. We head to the bottom of the first. The Hopkinton Hillers coming up. Set to enter the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Medway Mustangs diamond. Kaylee Higgins will be the pitcher. Her battery mate will be Kylie Sheehan behind the plate. Shannon McHugh over at first base. Laura Harkins, the second baseman. Kerry Sendrick is the shortstop. Julie Kasparian, the third baseman. From left to right, it's Sydney Rice, Casey Sheehan, and Rachel Mon in right field for the Medway Mustangs. For the Hopkinton Hillers batting order, Hannah Ingstrom leading things off, playing center field. Lindsey Whittles, the designated player, batting second. Lizzie Kelly, the catcher, batting third. Kayla Sullivan, the left fielder in the cleanup role. Kate Wellzell is batting fifth and playing shortstop for the Hopkinton Hillers. Jenna Bogan is batting sixth, playing first base. Juliet Hume in the batting order today, batting seventh. Nikki Como, the third baseman, batting eighth. Molly Bennett, the second baseman, batting ninth. Renee Cooprider playing right field, but the odd man out of the batting order for the Hopkinton Hillers. As Hannah Ingstrom is set to come to the plate, and she has had a nice season at the plate so far this year. A member of the volleyball state championship team awaits the pitch, and it's a bunt down the third baseline foul. Hannah Ingstrom, a senior, a 368 on the season, has scored 15 runs, driven in 12, has three doubles on the season. She's also contributed very much defensively as well for the Hillers. As that pitch got away, it is strike two. Oh and two on the lefty. Higgins gets the sign and deals. Breaking pitch just is going to edge the outer part of the plate for strike three. And Medway, they're a young team as well. Only four seniors on the roster. As Whittles steps in, there's strike one. And you're gonna notice Kaylee Higgins does not walk a whole lot of people. Get you the line on her for the season in just a moment as that pitch is down low. First, Lindsay Whittles, sophomore, 350 on the season, has driven in 13 and scored 13. Higgins set to deal. And this is hit in the air towards center field, and it will be caught for the second out. Casey Sheehan under it. And that'll bring up Lizzie Kelly, the catcher. Kaylee Higgins. is inexperienced at the varsity level. She's pitched three and two thirds of an inning so far. He's given up four earned runs, is that pitch inside? Julie Kasparian was the starter to begin the season. She went five and six with a 594 ERA, so the freshman gets a shot at it. As that pitch is in there for a strike, a one and one count. But Higgins is really expected to develop to become a great pitcher for this Medway team. That pitch outside, two and one. And Coach Kearney had a lot of faith putting Higgins in the starting role on the mound. And this is on the ground, played at short, throw to first, is going to go off the first baseman's glove. And Kelly is going to reach on the error. A misfire from the third base side, and that'll bring up Kayla Sullivan, the cleanup hitter. Five home runs leading the TVL and probably most other high school leagues in the state. 
That pitch up high. A 525 batting average on the season. 22 RBIs, 18 runs scored. As there is a called strike. Higgins set to deal. And that is sliced foul, a little tip. Sullivan has a 1,000 slugging percentage. Leading the TVL in that by a pretty wide margin. And Kerry Centric in second from Medway with a 909. Sullivan also leading an on base percentage. Home runs. Is that pitch outside? Second in batting average, that pitch up high. In first is Kerry Sendrick from the Medway Mustangs. This is hit in the air towards left center. That drops in for a hit. Kelly rounding second, rounding third, and she is going to come home to score the first Hopkinton Hillers run of the game. An RBI double for Kayla Sullivan, and it's one and nothing Hopkinton. <clears throat> That'll bring up Kate Wellzell for the Hillers. Wellzell a junior, 326 on the season. That pitch outside. Zell has scored 12, driven in 10. Higgins deals. Upstairs, 2-0. It's always tough when you get to that cleanup hitter, Kayla Sullivan. And she just knows how to place the ball out there as well. There's a strike, 2-1. Higgins to the set, that pitch low and inside. A three and one count on Wilzell. Wilzell hits this towards the fence in left field. That gets over the fielder's head, drops down for a hit, a run in the score. And Wilzell will advance to second as Kayla Sullivan comes around to score the second Hiller's run. RBI double for Wellzell, and that'll bring up Jenna Bogan. That got right over the head of Sydney Rice in left field. And she was very close to hitting that out of the ballpark for the first time this year. Bogan will slice this in a center. That drops down. A third Hiller's run is going to come around to score as the throw's cut off in the pitcher's circle by Higgins. An RBI single for Bogan, and it's rally time for the Hopkinton Hillers. Juliet Hume now will come to the plate. All three runs have scored with two outs, a strikeout and a flyout to start things here in the bottom of the first for the Hillers. Higgins deals upstairs. Lizzie Kelly reached on an error, misfire from the third base side. Kayla Sullivan then hit an RBI double to drive in Kelly, and then an RBI double by Wellzell, and an RBI single by Bogan. On the ground, foul, third base side, one and one. Higgins set to deal. Misfire, low for ball two. Looks like it might have slipped out of her hand there a little bit. Two and one. And when you're a freshman, it is not easy to face a lineup like the Hillers. And this is sliced towards short and a great diving catch. To her knees, Carrie Sendrick coming up with it and that will retire the side. 
but not before the Hopkinton Hillers plate three runs. It's 3 nothing heading to the top of the second. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business. Don't tolerate, eliminate your pest problem. You can call WPC Pest Control at 508-366-1820 or find them online at WPCPest.com. We are set for the top half of the second inning. A three to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers as they got the bats going with two outs in the bottom of the first. Due up for Medway is catcher Kylie Sheehan, third baseman Julie Kasparian, and first baseman Shannon McHugh to face Juliet Hume. The Hillers still be on the road against Westwood for the game after this, and Coach Baker Jr. told us after the Millis victory that expect Hume to get some rest as she has certainly pitched a lot of games as of late, a close-knit schedule for the past couple weeks. As this is hit in the air towards the fence, and it is caught by Hannah Engstrom. Nice job by Engstrom chasing that one down for the first out of the inning. Some good contact by Kylie Sheehan. And that'll bring up Julie Kasparian, the third baseman. Some good hitters on this Medway lineup as that pitch inside. Kasparian, a 344 hitter. She's driven in four. And before her, you had Kylie Sheen, a freshman, a 500 hitter. Is that pitch up high? Kylie Sheehan, she's the one you have to look out for in this lineup. They're one of a couple. Carrie Sendrick, also a very good hitter, a junior at the top of the lineup. There's a strike. But some very good hitters for this Medway lineup. Their big pr problem has been pitching. But of course, a very young team. A lot of up and coming players. Look out for Medway in the next couple of seasons. As this one is hit in foul territory and a nice catch by Bree Mirabli. Two and two. That one down low. Excuse me, that'll make the count two and two. Sperian awaits the pitch. The senior as Hume waits for the wind to die down. That one just inside, that'll fill up the count. Hume to the set. There's ball four, good eye by Kasparian. That'll bring up Shannon McHugh, the first baseman. And Mirabli is throwing off to the side, so you wonder if the Hillers are able to get enough of a lead. Will we see Mirabli come to the pitcher's circle today to give Hume some rest? Hume set to deal. There's a strike. Swinging strike. Oh, and one. Q, a sophomore at a 267 mark on the season. And that looked like a misfire to maybe catch the runner stealing. Kasparian takes second base. One and one. Hume to the set. There is a strike. A one and two count. Hume delivers, and this is hit in the air towards right center, and Ingstrom will range over to make the catch. Two very impressive catches by Ingstrom. She certainly covers a lot of field out there. And also, of course, has a very good reach. 
as Laura Harkins will come to the plate. Harkins, a junior, takes a strike. Struggled with the bat a little bit this season. Two for 25 at the plate. There's strike two. And that is going to be summoned down to the infield umpire, and it is ball one. Hume delivers. Upstairs gets away, and the runner at second will advance to third. So Kasparian now a base away from plating the first Medway run. Hume delivers. Down low, nice job by Kelly, keeping that in front. Three and two. Hume awaits the sign. And that is tipped foul. Nice battle here between Harkins and Hume. And that is ball four. Harkins draws the walk. Megan Donahue will come up to the plate. Megan Donahue, a sophomore. Outside. And you wonder with all the work that Hume's been doing on the mound, what's the leash with her today if she starts walking hitters? There's a strike, runner takes off from first, no throw. Hume deals, strike two, one and two. There's strike three. Well, it was a bend, but don't break. Top half of the second. We head to the bottom of the second. 3 0 Hopkinton. Bottom half of the second inning. Two up for Hopkinton. It's the 8 9 and 1 hitters Nikki Como, Molly Bennett, and Hannah Engstrom. There's Kaylee Higgins out there for another inning of work. Como will step in to the right handed batter's box and await the pitch. And it is down low. Como at a 333 mark on this season. Has scored five runs, driven in 11, has a home run this year and a double. And that pitch is outside. Two and O. Oh. To the set, upstairs. And if you look at the TVL standings, it's really the Hillers, Norton, and Bellingham really setting themselves apart from the rest of the TVL. And there's ball four. And that's what it'll come down to, those three teams. As Molly Bennett is going to come to the plate. Molly Bennett had a 419 on the season, just a sophomore, has scored 17, driven in seven. Also has a home run on the season. And a pair of triples. Bunt is laid down for strike one. So in the TVL standings, you got Hopkinton at 12 and one overall, 11 and 0 in the TVL. Norton 11 and one overall, 10 and one in the TVL. Bellingham nine and two overall, nine and two in the TVL. Wind up in the pitch. Bunt laid down and it is foul. And Westwood, Holliston, Medway, Medfield all have five wins overall and in the TVL. 
Midfield actually only four wins in the TVL. Then you got Dover, Sherborne, Millis, and Ashland at the bottom. Bunt pulled back. And Millis is interesting. They have, they're five and nine overall, two and nine in the TVL. So they've played all their out of league games already. One and two. Bunt laid down and it is in fair territory. Throw to first in time. Como does advance to second. So one away for Hannah Engstrom, who struck out her last time up. To the set. Bunt laid down, and that's foul. Went off her leg. Hit the dirt, then bounce back. Hit her in the shin. So she'll step back into the left-hand batter's box. Lefty awaits. That is sliced foul into the woods, 0-2. Higgins to the set. That one looks like it made a, might have slipped a little bit. One and two. Runner on second, one out for the Hillers. On the ground, up the middle, played at second, throw to first for one. And we'll go to, and uh, Como will advance to third. Sacrifice ground out, two away. Lindsay Whittles now coming to the plate. In there for a strike, 0 and 1. Whittles flew out her last time up to center field. A 350 hitter has driven in 13, scored 13, has a home run, a double, and a triple. Hit in the air in foul territory to the right side and out of play. Oh, and two. Higgins set the deal. And this is sliced in the left center. That drops down. And a Hiller's run is around a score. And that rolled all the way to the fence in center field before Casey Sheehan was able to chase it down. It's an RBI double for Lindsey Whittles. A four to nothing Hillers lead as Lizzie Kelly will come up to the plate. She reached on an error and scored in the run in the first. That was a great slice. First pitch a strike. Hillers, as a team, coming into this game, are hitting a 379. Quite impressive. That one is down low, one and one. They've scored 120 runs, 107 of them batted in. 10 home runs for the Hillers, 16 doubles. That's fouled away. One and two. Overall for the Hillers, a 437 on base percentage. 527 slugging. Quite impressive numbers. That is sliced foul and at a play. Count remains one and two. Also 31 for 32 on stolen bases are the Hillers. Higgins deals up high. Two and two. Higgins to the set. On the ground, up the middle, played at short. Throw to first is going to be just in time and that will be the third out. A good throw by Cendric over at short, a six to three. 
for Kelly. We'll end the inning, but not before the Hillers played another run. It's 4-0 heading to the third. HKM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Visit them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. And we are set for the top half of the third, a 4 to nothing Hillers lead. Two up for Medway are the 9-1 and 2 hitters. Rachel Mon, Kerry Sendrick, and Kaylee Higgins to face Juliet Human, her third inning of work. Medway managed to get two runners on in the second inning, both in scoring position. But Hume ended the inning by striking out Donahue. And Hume has done that quite a few times this year, gotten in some jams, but has gotten out of them. Certainly a lot of help in center field from Hannah Ingstrom to get out of last inning without giving up a run as well. As Rachel Mon set to step to the plate for the Mustangs. And the righty awaits the pitch. Hume delivers. Just called a strike. Mon a sophomore. Struggled a little bit at the plate, one for 17. There's strike two. Hume set to deliver. There's strike three. Three pitches, three strikes, one out. And that'll bring up Kerry Sendrick, the shortstop. And towards the top of this medway order, they're very strong, but then it, as you get towards the bottom, it gets younger and the hitter is not as experienced. 545 for Carrie Sendrick, one of the best hitters in the TVL. And she'll hit this one foul. Actually leading the league in batting average. Sendrick a junior has Scored 12 runs, driven in three. Three doubles, three triples, and a home run. That pitch down low. Hume set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, played at short. Throw to first is going to be in time. A nice job by Wellzell. Two away for Kaylee Higgins. Hume delivers. That pitch called a ball, 1-0. Hume to the set. Outside. And called a strike, 1-1. One one. Looked outside from here, but give the umpire the call. Here's strike two. Hume set to deal. Just outside, two and two. Hume delivers, down low. Three and two on Wiggins. Hume, set to deliver, fouled away. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. A 4-0 lead for the Hillers in the top of the third with two outs. And that pitch is outside. Another walk given up by Hume. It's her third today, and that'll bring up Casey Sheehan. Yeah. 
Casey, a senior, 486 hitter. Has driven in five and hit a home run as that one's fouled away. Also the sister of Kylie Sheehan who is in the lineup today and the cleanup hitter. Sheehan's sister is very good athletes for the Medway Mustangs. That's sliced follow and two. Hume set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, well Zell plays it at short, throw to first in time. And that is the third out of the inning and we will head to the bottom of the third, Hopkinton up four nothing. Bottom of the third inning, due up for the Hillers, the fourth, fifth, and sixth hitters. Kayla Sullivan, Kate Wellzell, and Jenna Bogan. And those are three hitters that already have a hit in this game. Kayla Sullivan, an RBI double. Kate Wellzell, an RBI double. Jenna Bogan, an RBI single. And that scored the three runs in the first inning. It's a four to nothing Hillers lead as a slight pause for Kylie Sheehan to adjust her leg pad behind the plate. Kaylee Higgins out there for another inning of work for the Medway Mustangs. And the freshman in her first start of the season. She delivers, swinging strike. Kayla Sullivan leading the league with five home runs. There's a swinging strike, oh and two. Tips that one to stay alive. Count remains 0 and 2. Sullivan second and runs with 18. And there's the pitch and it is just high. Some breaking action on that one. Higgins to the set. Upstairs, two and two. Wind up and the pitch is on the ground, third base side. Throw to first is going to get away from the first baseman and the runner will advance to second. That one came right towards us. Had a duck out of the way a little bit of that one as Kate Wellzell steps in. So Sullivan reaches on the error. That is inside. One and oh. Higgins to the set. Down low, gets away from the catcher. Sullivan advances a third. A wild pitch allows Sullivan to advance. Still no outs in the inning for the Hillers. Higgins set to deliver. This is hit in the air towards the left side foul. Two and one. Ozell an RBI double her last time up. 326 average heading into this game for the junior. That pitch up high, tremendous multi-sport athlete. Member of the Hillers soccer team as well. Higgins deals. This is hit in the air, foul territory. And it's a full count. Go, 
Higgins deals. Hit in the air, left side foul. Good battle here. Number 15 at the plate versus number 15 on the mound. Kate Wellzell versus Kaylee Higgins. Higgins delivers. That's hit foul. Cow remains full. Jenna Bogan due up next. And this is sliced into center field. That drops in for a hit. And a run around a score as Kayla Sullivan touches home base. It's five to nothing, Hillers. It's Kate Wilzell's second RBI of the day as Jenna Bogan steps in, the lefty. Runner takes off, throw to second, it is not going to be in time. Good throw down the pike though by Kylie Sheehan. Will Zell just a speedster. That is her seventh stolen base of the season. Seven for seven. That's sliced foul. One and one. The Hillers as a team, 31 for 32. Quite impressive. Higgins set the deal. Swinging strike, a late swing there, one and two. Good breaking movement on that pitch by Higgins. Higgins delivers. This is hit in the air, a little slicer towards short, and it will be gloved by Sendrick for the first out. That'll bring up Juliet Hume. She lined out her last time up. And Hume, not only a good pitcher, but a pretty good hitter too. She's hit in eight games, a 455 average. On the ground, up the middle, gloved by Higgins. Throw to first, will pull the first baseman off the bag, but she's able to step back on, and there is two outs. Well, Zell advances to third on the four to three. Now Nikki Como will come to the plate. Excuse me, on the one to three. Down low, nice job by Sheehan behind the plate, keeping it in front. Higgins delivers, down low, two and oh. Higgins set to deal. Sliced foul, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. And a little slicer to third base, and it escapes the glove of the third baseman, and a run scores. Kasparian was trying to get a glove on it, and she was not able to hold on. And Como reaches on the error. It's a 6-0 lead for the Hillers. That'll bring up Molly Bennett. Third error of the game for Medway. That one's close, but it was right on her glove. Did not hit the ground before, so you really just have to give it the error there. Higgins deals. Strike. 0-1. Oh so runner on first with two outs. Already two runs in for the Hillers. A 6-0 lead on the bottom of the third. Higgins set to deal. On the ground, and that got away from Sheehan behind the plate, and Como takes off for second. 
A stolen base there. It's actually your second, uh, first stolen base of the season. Higgins delivers up high. And for Medway, you know, you got a freshman pitcher in there facing a great lineup. She's battling it out, getting some good experience here. That's fouled away. One and two. Two and two count, excuse me. Higgins set the deal. Upstairs. Higgins to the set. S swinging strike. Nice pitch there to get Molly Bennett. And that will do it, but not before the Hillers plate two more runs. It's six nothing heading into the fourth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, attorneys at law, serving central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence, Fletcher Tilton. Visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. Top half of the fourth inning, Juliet Hume back out there for the Hillers. Don't forget, if you want a copy of any Hillers sporting event or anything or any program that airs on HCAM, just contact us via our website, hcam.tv, or 508-435-7887 to order your copy. As Kylie Sheehan steps in, Medway trying to overcome a 6-0 lead. Is that pitch down low, 1-0. Hume awaits the sign and deals. That's down low, 2-0. Oh. Swinging strike, 2 and 1. Hume has had a work today against a good amount of these hitters. There's strike 2. Beauty. But that way, they have a pretty good lineup. Some good hitters, especially towards the top of their lineup. Outside. Kylie Sheehan, certainly one of the better hitters. A freshman at a 500 average. And that is low. She draws the walk. Fourth walk of the day by Hume. That'll bring up Julie Kasperian, the third baseman. Hume delivers down low. Hume awaits the sign and deals. Swinging strike, one and one. There's strike two. Called strike, grabs the inside corner. Hume delivers, just outside. Nice save by Lizzie Kelly. Hume to the set. This is hit in the air, foul territory. <laughs> Had to battle it a little bit there and count remains two and two. Thinking about throwing you in front of that one, Bob. Hume set to deliver. Swinging strike. One away. That'll bring up Shannon McHugh. 
I have to say that's twice Julie Kasperian almost hit us today. An overthrow from third base, and now a foul ball right towards us. We'll have to have a talk with her after the game as Hume delivers. And that is in there for a strike. Runner takes off, and it got through the reach of Wellzell, but a nice job by Molly Bennett backing up Wellzell to prevent that ball from getting into the outfield. A 1 and 0 count as Hume set to deliver. On the ground, first base side, a little bobble by Bogan. She picks up and tags the bag. Kylie Sheehan did advance to third on the three unassisted. And that'll bring up Laura Harkins with two outs. Hume set to deal. That is ripped foul, 0-1. Wind up and the pitch, up high. One and one. Swinging strike. Hume deals. There, strike three. And that will do it for the top of the fourth. Six nothing Hopkinton heading to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth inning due up for the Hillers is the top of the order. Hannah Engstrom, Lindsay Whittles, and Lizzie Kelly. It's a six to nothing lead for Hopkinton. They've scored six runs on five hits. And it's Kaylee Higgins on the mound once again for another inning of work. Lindstrom steps in, 0 for 2 on the day. Reached on an error in the second. Takes a ball. Higgins set to deal. Down low, 2-0. Hopkinton 12 and one overall, Medway five and six. That sliced foul down the third base side, two and one. And the spring season just flying by. Before you know it, it'll be postseason time. Killer softball hoping for a very good postseason. Wind up and the pitch, and this is a liner that'll drop in to center after a couple hops on the infield dirt. And Engstrom is aboard with a single. That'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Whittles, a sophomore, at a 350 heading into this game. That pitch down low got over the head of Sheehan and it actually got a piece of Whittles as ruled by the home plate umpire. So Whittles gets the bag for free as she was hit by the pitch. Ingstrom advances to second. That'll bring up Lizzie Kelly. She's reached on an error in the first and scored a run. 0 for 2 on the day. Higgins deals up high. Nice block by Sheehan. Higgins to the set. That's down low, gets away from Kylie Sheehan behind the plate. Both runners move up a bag. Engstrom to third, Whittles the second on the wild pitch. Still no outs in the inning for the Hillers. Two runners in scoring position. That pitch outside. Three and O. Oh. Two up on deck, Kayla Sullivan, the cleanup hitter. 
There's a strike, three and one. Higgins delivers down low and Lizzie Kelly draws the walk. And now Kayla Sullivan at the plate, no outs, bases loaded. She's one for two on the day, had an RBI double in the first score to run, reached on an error in the third score to run. Higgins delivers, just high. One and O. Oh. Engstrom at third, Whittles at second, Kelly at first. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Two and O. Oh. And now the head coach, Jeff Kearney for Medway, going to come in with the infield to try to settle down Higgins. Probably see how her arm is doing. This is her first start of the season on the mound. She's a freshman pitcher. And starts like this are good, especially when you're a freshman. It's just great experience facing this lineup and these hitters. And she will stay out there to finish the rest of the at-bat of Kayla Sullivan. Infielders playing a little bit in on the corners, looking for the potential bunt attempt. That pitch up high. Three and O. Oh. Not seen any warm up action for Medway, but that does not mean a relief pitcher isn't coming in soon. And that is ball four. That'll walk in a run. Ingstrom comes around to score. It's a 7 0 Hopkinton lead. And that'll bring up Kate Wellzell. Whittles up to third. Kelly up to second. Kayla Sullivan aboard. And Wellzell is two for two today with two RBIs a double in the first, single in the third and take strike one. Still no outs for the Hillers in the inning. Higgins delivers. This is hit in the air towards the fence and left field, back towards the fence. And it is off the glove. And that is going to be a home run, a grand slam. Kate Wilzell goes yard and clears the bases. A grand slam home run. And that scores five runs in the inning. And it's 11 0 Hopkinton with Jenna Bogan at the plate. Still no outs. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that's gone. A solo shot for Jenna Bogan, and it's a home run derby for the Hillers. Twelve nothing Hopkinton. A grand slam home run by Kate Wellzell and then a solo shot by Jenna Bogan. And now Juliet Hume coming to the plate. And what happened on that grand slam, it went off the glove of Rice, but her glove was past the fence as it went off. That pitch up high. So Wellzell credited with the grand slam home run. Upstairs, two and oh. The pitch inside, three and oh. Higgins deals, up high, four and oh. Hume will walk. Nikki Como will come in, and I think Higgins is going to be on a very short leash here. Yeah. 
Six runs in the inning for the Hillers. We're in the fourth, it's 12-0. Down low. Actually called strike there, look low from here. Oh and one. Inside. To the set. And this is a slicer that'll drop in a center and Hume advances the second on the single by Como. That'll bring up Molly Bennett to the plate. We're gonna have a pinch hitter, Heather Holly coming in, the sophomore. Heather Holly in to hit for Molly Bennett. And expect a number of subs substitutions coming up for the Hillers. Kaylee Higgins still out there trying to battle through this inning. It started off with a single from Hannah Engstrom. Lindsey Whittles was then hit by a pitch. And then Lizzie Kelly walked. Kayla Sullivan walked. That drove in the first round, the lineup and the pitch up high. Then a grand slam home run that cleared the left field fence from Katewell Zell, went off the glove of Rice in home run territory. Then Jenna Bogan follows up with a solo shot. That pitch up high. And then a walk by Hume. Como hits a single. And I think we're gonna have a pitching change. And there's Coach Kearney coming out and we indeed will have a pitching change for the Medway Mustangs. It is a two and O count on Heather Holly. And we will get you updated on all the position changes in just a moment. We continue the bottom of the fourth inning. The Hillers have already scored six runs, no outs. Two runners on, a new pitcher. Shannon McHugh moves over from first base to take over on the mound for Kaylee Higgins, moving over to first base is Julie Kasparian, the former third baseman, is that pitch up high. And then taking over on third base is the starting pitcher, Kaylee Higgins. So those are the position changes for the Medway Mustangs. Heather Hawley at the plate, pinch hitting for Molly Bennett for the Hopkinton Hillers. A three and O count, and now that is a walk. Bases loaded. Hume the third, Como to second, and that'll bring up Hannah Engstrom for the second time this inning. And actually we are going to have a pinch hitter as expected. And it is going to be Mitchell coming in to hit for Engstrom. Colleen Mitchell will come to the plate and a stoppage in the action here. I think the umpire was adjusting his mask. So Mitchell pinch hitting, takes a strike. Wind up and the pitch, down low. One and one on Mitchell. McHugh to the set, that's sliced foul. Do have Lindsay Whittles do up on deck. We'll see if she stays in. I think Coach Baker Jr. is going to try to get everybody into this game to get a nap at. 
Line up and the pitch, down low. Two and two. McHugh waits the sign. She delivers on the ground, third base side and foul. And how about Kate Wilzell, her first home run of the season, a grand slam. McHugh delivers, and this is a slicer up the middle of the infield. That gets through. Hume will score. It's 13-0 Hillers with bases loaded. An RBI single for Colleen Mitchell. And now Lindsey Whittles coming to the plate. McHugh set to deliver, just outside, 1-0. Oh. This is McHugh's first appearance on the mound this year for Medway. And there's a strike, 1-1. One one. Still no outs in the inning. To the set, and a slicer in a right field, that drops in. One run in to score, and the bases stay loaded. Nikki Como comes around on the RBI single. Colleen Mitchell to second, Heather Holly to third. And coming to the plate is a pinch hitter, Isabel Holden for the Hillers. Pinch hitting for Lizzie Kelly. McHugh delivers. There's a strike, 0 and 1. A 14 0 Hillers lead. Eight runs have come around to score in this inning. To the set. Hit foul, 0 and 2. And Medway will likely be down to their last three outs in the top half of the fifth. McHugh delivers, and this is hit in the air towards center field and caught. 4 1 out, and all runners will stay. Casey Sheehan making the catch. One away with bases loaded. And you can't expect the Hillers to be too aggressive in this situation at trying to send runners. And we have another pinch hitter for Kayla Sullivan. It will be Azalee Curl. A pitch up high. Curl is a junior, awaits the pitch from McHugh. Hit foul, one and one. McHugh waits the sign. And deals on the ground, past the die, the glove of the third baseman, and another run around to score. Azalee Curl with an RBI single. That drives in Heather Holly. Colleen Mitchell pushes up the third, Lindsay Whittles the second, and Kate Wellzell at the plate. A grand slam earlier this inning for Wellzell. That's hit foul, 0 and 1. A 15 0 lead for the Hillers. 
McHugh delivers. Hit in the air towards left field, and it is caught. Runner will tag and score. A RBI sacrifice flyout for Will Zell. Colleen Mitchell in to score the 16th Hillers run. And Jenna Bogan at the plate. She hit a solo shot her last time up. To the set, up high. So the wind starting to blow a little bit. Q delivers on the ground, first base side, past the glove of the first baseman and the second baseman. And everybody's safe. That'll load up the bases. As Lee Curl up to second, whittles the third. Bogan to first. And Hume to the plate. Surprised they have Hume batting in this situation. That's hit foul, 0 and 1. Figured maybe they'd get Mirabli out there. McHugh to the set. Down low off the catcher's pad, but Sheehan keeps it in front. 1 and 1. 10 run inning for the Hillers. 16 to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. To the set, hit in the air in foul territory right field and out of the reach of Rachel Mon. One and two. Q waits the sign. Fouled away. Cal remains one and two. And this Hillers lineup just dangerous all over. Very tough lineup to face as a young pitcher. On the ground, up the middle, gloved at short, throw to first, in time. And that'll be the third out of the inning, but not before the Hopkinton Hillers plate 10 runs. And we will head to the top of the fifth, 16 nothing Hopkinton. Top of the fifth inning, a 16 to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers as the Midway Mustangs going to try to avoid the shutout. Moen Donahue, Rachel Mon, and Harry Sendrick do up for the Mustangs. The 8, 9, and 1 hitters. We'll see if they stick to that. Juliet Hume back in to go for the complete game. And likely with the mercy rule in effect, Medway down to their last three outs. As it was quite a fourth inning for the Hillers. Hume set to deal. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Hume deals inside. One and one. To the set, swinging strike. There's ball two. Q 
Hume delivers, and a little bloop shot, and Hume will make the catch. A nice leap by Hume. One away. That'll bring up Rachel Mon. And we got a pinch hitter. And this is a grounder, third base side foul. It's Jordan LaPointe at the plate. Swinging strike. O oh, and two. Hume to the set. Strike three. Two away. And we're going to have another pinch hitter here. Isabel Nolter at the plate. Juliet Hume awaits the sign. And a little bloop shot on the ground. Played at short. Throw to first in time. A six to three ground out. And the mercy rule will come into effect for the second straight game for the Hopkinton Hillers. A 16 to nothing final for Hopkinton. Juliet Hume pitched another. Great complete game, but the offense stole the show today. As in the bottom of the fourth, a grand slam home run from Kate Wellzell, followed up by a solo shot by Jenna Bogan. We'll get you the final stats in just a moment. Well, it was all offense today for the Hopkinton Hillers as they knock off the Medway Mustangs 16 to nothing. They put up 10 runs in the fourth inning. But the other story in this game was Juliet Hume, a no-hitter. A five-inning no-hitter for Juliet Hume as the Hillers get their second straight Mercy victory as they try to maintain control over the TVL with Norton and Bellingham, of course, breathing right down their necks. But the Hillers, they really have a stronghold right now on this division. A tremendous win today for the Hillers. The bats really coming alive. We're not going to recap every single run. If you want to see every single run, you can certainly go back and watch this game. But we'll give you the general gist of what happened. Three runs scored in the first. RBIs from Kayla Sullivan, Kate Wilzell, and Jenna Bogan scored those three runs. Then in the second, the Hillers put up another run. RBI double from Lindsey Whittles. Then in the third... An RBI single from Kate Wellzell scored a run. And also scoring in that inning was Kayla Sullivan, as she would end up scoring as Nikki Como reached for an er error, uh, reached from an error. And then in the fourth inning, the rally caps came on. A single from Hannah Engstrom. Lindsey Whittles was hit by a pitch. Lizzie Kelly walked. Kayla Sullivan walked. That drove in a run. And then Kate Wilzell, a grand slam homer, scored four more runs. Jenna Bogan follows up with a solo shot. And then Juliet Hume would walk. That would uh, put her on base. And Nikki Como single. Uh, Heather Holly would come in later. Molly Bennett would walk. And an RBI hit for Colleen Mitchell. RBI hit for Lindsay Whittles. And then an RBI hit for Asley Curl, an RBI single, and then an RBI sacrifice from Kate Wellzell. And that is how the 10 runs scored in the fourth inning. The Hillers, they took control and never let go. It was a freshman pitcher out there for Medway, Kaylee Higgins. And despite all the offense from the Hillers today, she did get some great experience. Once again, the final score for the final time, Hopkinton, 16 Medway, nothing. A complete game, no hitter. For Juliet Hume, of course, only a five-inning game with the Mercy Rule coming in to effect, but a no-hitter for Juliet Hume, another great pitching gem and also a great offensive gem for the Hopkinton Hillers. Your player of the game, Kate Wellzell, three for four, 
Three runs, the grand slam, of course, six RBIs. Kate Wellzell, your offensive player of the game today for the Hopkinton Hillers. Well, the Hillers will next be on the road against Westwood, and that should be a tough game as they try to wrap up the TVL. Once again, the Hillers, 16 Medway nothing. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us on this HCAM broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers softball.